Because this level sucks. I love the idea of it though, I will say that much. That's basically this game in a nutshell. I, I like the, a lot of the ideas in this game, but like, the execution is just... Uh. Just steal every level aesthetic and just make new level, like, geography, I guess. Yeah, basically. Because I don't... I don't hate the ideas, like the level ideas, like the the dragonfly dojo, the the farm being uh, taken over by like alien cows or whatever, and like a level based on the thieves you've seen since Spyro One. I like these ideas. It's just the levels that they make out like for these ideas. It just they're either just boring or just really really bad. Oh, I'm so used to the I'm so used to the I'm so used to the thieves, I'm so used to the thieves being bad guys. Can you do anything to help us? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Your treasure. Yeah, right. I was watching well, the ones that don't have glimmers. I think it was. Yeah, the guy running away. You're throwing red socks in the air. They're immune to dragon, but I feel like you can see what they're going weapons. So try using the wing. The wing shield. Wing shield! Yeah, another thing that. Oh, yay. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm digging the aesthetic of this level. Yeah, no, this level, if you. Like. Ignore, like, some of the level design and some of the, like, annoying mechanics, like this thing. Um, it's. Like, visually, this level's great, and I love the idea of it, but, like. Man, I just wish it was in a better game. I think they're all green, man. I think so. I don't mean to sound whiny, but like, I... Ugh. <laughs> but I, I don't like being like one of those people that complains... Oh, the baskets that... often move. Yeah, the, the baskets move as well. Um, like, you know, I, I don't like being like one of those guys that just complains about everything, but like... Ish. And then hopefully this works. You're too close. <laughs> oh, it's not. Oh. Yeah, yeah, like you deflected or something? Yeah, yeah. You have to kill them like this. Speed run killer right here. Oh my god. Yeah, how the... Okay, thank you. Yeah, the, the, that, yeah, that also just doesn't function properly. It's like, we're... You have to the bounce. Yeah, you have to reflect the, the, the spell back at him, but like, it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. Pretty obvious this one. <laughs> Would pretty hard would you be big move by the way? <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, very like color coded. I guess I don't know. Like just the, Can't see the, ge the gems are a little less obvious, but right. How much longer do I have? Yeah, we probably. Yeah, we probably. Won't be doing much, going for much longer, but. Oh, I thought it was immune to your lightning for a second. <laughs> yeah. I, I guess, like, one other thing as well, like, I, I don't think we've really talked much about the different breaths, but, um, it's, a, it, it's another one of those things where, like, uh, if, it, if it had more time to be fleshed out, like, it could have been, like, great. And they even bring that back as a, as a major plot, uh, Point in the Legend series, how like Sparrow like is like a rare species of dragon and is like the only one that can do all these different breaths and whatnot. Um, and you know, I, I like that this game introduces that. It just for this game specifically, it just it, it it makes it basically makes the other breaths is like um, glorified switches or like an enemy needs to be killed with a specific breath because screw you, that's why. And it doesn't really do anything 
puzzly or interesting besides that. Um, which is a shame because, again, like, w those, like, single levels in 2 and 3 that had the ice breath, you had to think about, um, how you're freezing, where you're freezing the enemies to get up to higher ledges and whatnot. Like, there's a whole, um, orb challenge in Spyro 2 where you need to freeze the enemies in this- Oops, I forgot how to do this for a second. Uh, how, here you to freeze enemies in a specific way to get to the bells. Um, and that's like way more interesting than any of the stuff that the uh, different breaths do in this game. And it's just kind of a shame. I mean, you did have to use the ice breath in Dragonfly Dojo as platform, so there's puzzle yeah. solving. That, yeah, that, I will say that. That's like the one one part that they where they do do something like that. It's just that's like the only one time I can think of where you need to do something like that, which is not great. Well, it's exactly the same amount of levels as Spyro 2 and 3, so I guess they deemed that sufficient. <laughs> uh, like, I don't, like, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, in theory, I'm fine with them just being expansions of Spyro's kit, like. Yeah, I guess. Like, I guess give them more properties for, like, a, what am I trying to say? Give them more properties if so they just aren't like basically pallet swap attacks. Yeah, I guess that, that's. I guess that's um, why I, why I'd say as well because I, I think my issue is the fact that they don't really feel any different from just using regular fire breath, so it just kind of feels arbitrary a lot of the time. I know there's a speed way. Yeah. Cool. Right. Like the ball breath or whatever we want to say about it, it has a function. <laughs> Yeah. I will say this, um, that since we, like, kind of glossed over it there, uh, I do like that the, they had, like, a breakable wall there that led to a, like, a mini game. Like, that's cool. I, I like stuff like that. Like, uh, it, we haven't really had, um, like, for lack of a better term, eureka moments in this game. So, like, I do appreciate that at least. Because um, the, the trilogy was like filled with that kind of stuff, which is part of why those games are so fun to like complete. So they, they make you feel smart for like thinking outside the box sometimes. Oh, there's a dragonfly. Feel, they also make you feel dumb when you miss a gem. That's true, but uh, that's kind of just a byproduct of being a collector fun, I guess. Uh, what, so you're what, saying this should be a corridor platformer. I got you, Harry. <laughs> Let's grab the treasure in here and see what the hell that that is. Yeah. I will say this. I um. So one one thing I will say, and I'm actually gonna. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm actually gonna defend a aspect of this game that people seem to dunk on for some reason, and that's the fact that like. I've heard a lot of people say that the that the idea of baby dragons getting their own dragonflies, um, not necessarily contradicts uh, the like the trilogy, but a lot of people seem to say like, like it makes Sparrow not special anymore. Oh, the platform maze. Oh yeah. Oh, but I like the song here. It, yeah, this is basically the one we had earlier in the game. It's just this one is awful. Yeah, as I was saying though, um, yeah, people seem to think that like baby dragons getting their own dragonflies makes Sparrow not special anymore because he's no longer the sole dragon to get a dragonfly. And I disagree with this because I always just assume I like I like the idea of um, like baby dragons getting their own dragonflies in the first place, but I always just assume that like um, the dragons just grow up and eventually they like don't need the dragonflies anymore, and then they do those guys kind of just fly off on, on their own or, or something? Fly off to where Navi went at the end of Ocarina of, Ta Ocarina of Time. Basically, yeah. Like, I, I, I never minded the idea... You wanna... Okay, cool. Um, oh, we are off to a great start. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't... Yeah, I never really understood, like, people's issues with the dragonflies. I think, I, I think it's nice little lore building beyond what we had in the trilogy, especially... Especially since in the third game we had we had to save the, the the baby dragons themselves, so I think making you have to save dragonflies in the 
following game makes sense as a sequel. So I, I don't know, I, I, I don't really understand people's... Yeah, that's, that comes off as a kind of random complaint to me, like... Yeah. There was nothing special about Spyro, he was just the small kid who happened to be the only small kid in his realm, apparently. Yeah. And then we find out in the hero's tale, yeah, there's other kid dragons around his head. And he's like, please, we just didn't see them because they're not important. Yeah. I mean, the, the, like, this game, and I, more specifically, like, Legend of Spyro, I guess retroactively make uh, Spyro special in the sense that he can uh, use a bunch of different, like, breaths and whatnot, which I think... Oh, good. Uh, which I think works fine as being, like, a, like, a special... Um, like sp dragon species or whatever, I don't know. Because he's a purple dragon, I think that was the reason. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that. that's sure, that's fine for Legend of Spyro, which is a reboot. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know if there's, like, I, I don't know if they really do anything like that in the original series, like, like have a whole. Uh, Sparrow being special because of X reason. Um, I'm trying to remember. Shadow Legacy might get into it, but I can't remember. Mm. Uh, yeah, Spyro's just the it's just the guy people rely on. There's nothing particularly chosen one about him. He just no. does stuff. Yeah, I mean, because like Sparrow one, he like just kind of missed Nasty Nork's spell because of I don't know. Like the the reasoning is like all like kind of all over the place. Like. Um, didn't the, I think the manual says that like, he was playing like hooky or something, <laughs> or whatever it playing was. Hooky, hooky, yeah. Um, but the the game itself implies that he was just too small to hit. I, that's why I assumed he was too small, or I don't know, sparks protected him. Yeah. And then the Sparrow too was just kind of at in the wrong place at the wrong time, and then. With Sparrow 3, it's just like, oh, you're the only one that can go through these holes. <laughs> so it's like, it, it's, he's not, he's not, in the, in the trilogy at least, he, he was never really established as like, a special, like something special. He's just kind of been the only one that can do the thing. Which, I mean, I no, guess. since we do. Yeah. Sorry, go on. No, I was just going to say, I guess you could make that, say that special in, like, some ways, but I mean, you know. Oh gosh. Yeah, yeah. This level gives me- this whole minigame gives me anxiety. Yeah. It's like I don't even know if this sounds like a pussy. What'd you say, Jason? The electricity straddles. Oh, the electric- yeah. It's like, okay! <laughs> yeah, there's so many of these. I was gonna say, um, yeah. Given no, I guess given what we know now about Hero's Tale, um, it is where they only sent Spyro to the Forgotten Forgotten Realms. Like, what, mm. what, what was em was Ember busy? Yeah, she wasn't available. So now, <laughs> was I think it was like the Crash of the Titans like trailer or some not trailer, um, like commercial or whatever, which is like. We were, we were gonna get like a really buff hero or something, but he wasn't available. <laughs> I mean, Crunch did get frozen at the start. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know what to. I don't know, who knows what the next Spyro game will do. Hopefully, there is okay. one in the oh, first yeah, place. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Yeah, hopefully, we get a Spyro game like, to begin with. <laughs> I wanna go over there. Oh my god. This isn't the worst challenge of the game, but it's just very long. I think, yeah, I think that's the thing with it. Like, it's long, and if you loot, if you fall at any point, you have to do, do the whole thing again. Oh my god. Ugh. I don't like how this thing is moving. They really couldn't have just, like, had you warp back to here. That would be nice. Alright, do I just... 
You want to risk it? <laughs> no, I'm not jumping, but like, do I have to just like do this again on this guy? No, I think that's another thing. It is a red top lizard. Uh. Cool. All right. Oh. Right in the butt. Right in the pick. What skill? I can't believe you made it to the wizard. Well, believe it. Hey, it's Morpheus. But where's Mor <laughs> Where's Morbius? It's Morbin. No, get out. Morbin. <laughs> no. Nah. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> the Morbius Wii U. We gotta play that on on, on for an LP. <laughs> Is it? Humor me. I um, look. Uh, look up a, if, <laughs> look up Morbius. Is this a Morbius video game? There probably isn't there is one. No, there is no. There has never been a Morbius video game. Oh, that would have been hilarious. Oh my god. <sighs> oh yeah, another reason. Uh, another way you can tell um, baskets fake. And gems, the respawn. they respawn, yeah. So, yeah. Oh, I'm sure that won't mess up, mess you up. If you're trying to look for an actual gem. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, that's happened to me several times. Um, also, the um, the uh, laugh that the gems do, I'm pretty sure that's a sound effect um, that also appears in Tui. It sounds like something that it sounds like the laugh of like the spies and spy versus spy. <laughs> yeah. It's probably just a stock sound. Yeah, it does sound like a stock sound. Okay, I'm looking away. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I guess another other news is. You said it was your birthday today, so uh, did you do anything fun? I got ice cream. Nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm outside soon. Mm. Oh. Okay. Oh, gosh. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm good. so sorry, but... That's... Oh, gosh. Hey, it's Jordan! Oh! That hurts, Scrappy. Oh, there's the thing. There's the speedway, I think. Okay, I think... We'll Why are so many gosh darn speedways in this game? I don't know. I don't really know how to feel about the speedways being in actual levels. It feels... kind of weird. I could have sworn Spyro 1 had like one speedway in a level. Did it? I could have sworn it did. Mm, I don't remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rings, thieves, cobras, camels. Why, why are we shooting down the thieves? This is their home. Yeah, right? Okay, I think well, we... that, uh, they told us to do it. Oh my god, okay, yeah, I remember this one bit in the sense of, like, the frame rate just doesn't, like, want to exist. <laughs> uh, what is this? What is that one level on CTR? Like... Twilight Tour? Yeah. What'd you say, Jason? Twilight Tour? Yes, that's what this level reminds me of. Hmm. Yeah, I think, I think we'll probably just do the speed run and stop because there's still quite a lot of the level left. Yeah, this this game. Yeah, this game. If... Ah. Well, that's gonna kill our time. Yeah, this is probably a bust. What the heck? Okay. What's next, yeah, camel? Ah. I think. Oh gosh. You know, I just restart. This is. This is garbage. Give up. <laughs> Sorry, put him out. 
fire just careening towards the floor. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, hopefully we will at least be able to finish the game next time because we just have like half of this and the jungle level left. Again, I, I, again, this game nailed aesthetics down, like... Mm. Yeah. It just, the Visually, this game just needed more polishing up, but, like, the actual art direction is fine. Yeah, I might just steal all this stuff for another Spiral game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like... Like, the... Art direction and like the the model like the um or the character designs themselves are fine. I have no issue with that. Oh my god. Please. Why can I not hit this guy? Just restart Harry. Uh, I don't know if it, I don't remember if Sparks had camels next or Maybe I can barely get it. What the heck were these camels? They only have two legs. <laughs> They're really derpy looking. They're like... Like ostriches. Yeah. They're also really slow. <laughs> yeah, they... They are camels. They... Yeah, they barely look like camels at all. They're also really spaced out. What the heck? Yeah, yeah, this ain't gonna work. Okay, I need to, like... Dribble, you need a quadruple time it. There's no way I can... Yeah, th this ain't happening. I was the way, did you bust on the thieves part? Wait, what? <laughs> the thieves part, did you bust on that? Yeah, I, I took like 10 hours to get one guy. That's just an accurate representation of finding one gem in a spiral level. Yeah. Yes, use bubble breath. That's the perfect idea. Yeah, I, I I use electric breath for no absolutely no reason. But I mean, we there was some. Well, at least that last challenge had some puzzle elements of the electric breath. Yeah. Like, they tried. Yeah, they did what they could. I I can only. Okay. I I can't be <laughs> too upset because I did. Again, it's not the it's not. <laughs> Jack Winox, <laughs> his fault. Like, it is, like, I can only be so upset at, 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 this, at this game because it's, <laughs> like, it, it's, like, I, when, when the developers make a bad game, half the time it's not really their fault. Like, devs just get thrown under the bus, like, more often than not, it's kind of sad. Oh, this wasn't getting thrown under the bus, this was getting thrown under a freight train. Yeah. And then a train somehow backed up. This is, this is like getting thrown into a black hole. I don't think we're gonna make it. I think I did this wrong. I think I might have to... Maybe go in for these, like, snakes or whatever, like, might be, um... Or cobras, I guess. Oh, no, 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 we're supposed to do the snakes first, because look at the bottom left. Oh, or bottom yeah. right. Okay. Maybe I'll... Be able to make this. But if I use the star, maybe. Ah! Uh, oh! Uh, whoa! Okay. <laughs> what was what that? The heck? what the heck was that momentum? <laughs> Barely. Um, we will take it. Hmm. Okay, that's. I think I'm going outside now. Oh, gosh, <laughs> really we have, well, yeah, we have the race to do at least. I mean, you have the race to do. <laughs> hey, it's Copper Top. This might be the last uh, speedway because I don't, I don't remember that one being in the jungle. Ugh, you're lucky the sun's already going down. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Ding. Well, we should, uh, we should at least be having a lot more fun in the next uh, LP, because I think uh, last I checked it was Twin Sanity next. 
And that's a game I actually like, so... You make it more obvious the game wanted you to go for that shortcut. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, yeah. This is just Twilight Tour. Basically. Without the bitch of music. <laughs> Oh, okay, I was gonna say, I thought the music gave up for a second. Was it just looping? Yeah. Why does the moon look like the Earth itself? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if the if Spyro's wings count as a hitbox, so I'm trying to like avoid hitting things with it. You graze a gnat in the sky, you die. <laughs> I mean, that, oh, that background's decent at least. Do they not have any of those, like, projectiles? I've just realized that. What projectiles? Yeah, like, 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 the, like the red rockets. Yeah. No! Damn it. Yeah, the, the rockets. Damn it, dude. Ah! Okay. I didn't realize this song had vocals. Oh, it does have projectiles. I just couldn't tell because it's just, okay. I forgot those even existed in this, in this series. Yeah. Oh, come on. What just happened? I got off course apparently, even though I clearly went through the ring. Okay, yeah, I see, I see, yeah. Right. I straight up just wasn't seeing that. Oh boy. What else about your band? Um, it's getting, it's starting to get, uh, pretty cold. Um, so, that's, that's a thing. Um, okay with like getting out of this, uh, out, out of the uh, hot weather, so I'm not too, I, I don't mind it too much. Oh, this is something we neglected to discuss when we were talking about like, the Nintendo Direct and State of Play in the last session. Yes, we're recording these in September. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, do we have any... Th yeah, I don't know what we said about that. I don't know. Uh, you said you were going to write a strongly worded letter to Nintendo because they didn't show Metroid Prime Trilogy. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't disappointed that that didn't show, but um, I, I'm not... I can't be that surprised. Um, I feel I feel like it will probably happen at some point, but I feel like may, mm, I feel like that might be like a surprise announcement alongside alongside an actual Prime Four trailer. Like uh, Prime Four is coming out later this year. Oh, by the way, Prime Trilogy, uh, get it on the uh, on the Switch in like um, next month or something. I feel like maybe they'll do something like that. What if Pikmin 4 comes out before Prime 4? It probably will, because we got uh, 2023, and I... I don't know. Actually, no, it... Oh. Yeah. It... I don't know. 
I, yeah, I feel, I feel like it probably would, because I, I feel like, um, the earliest I can see Prime 4 releasing is, like, holiday next year, and I don't- hey, it's Neo! It's not anymore. Neo and, Mor and Morpheus, I get it. <laughs> it's not anymore, though. Uh, no, I didn't want to do that, no. Leave. Bye. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't see Pikmin 4 being a holiday game, so I, I can, I think I, I can see that being like, sometime in the summer maybe, uh, depending on if it gets delayed or not. <laughs> and I, yeah, the earliest I can see Prime 4 coming out is holiday next year because it just, I don't know, that just kind of makes sense to me in my head. So. Fuck. Well, here's something that we did not discuss at all last time. Uh, Tekken 8 was given a trailer and it looks gorgeous. Oh, was that the- oh, I didn't watch- actually watch the state of play, so... That's- I think that's what they- <laughs> I had the hiccups. I think that's what they opened the state of play with. <laughs> mm. Gosh darn it. Yeah. <laughs> God. Well, at least we have uh, half of the dragonflies in the stage. Gosh, we aren't even, like, halfway through with the gems. Jeez. Wait, Levels does... are too big. Wait, does Jurassic Jungle actually have less gems than the others? What? No, it has fewer gems. That doesn't make any sense. Huh. Okay, then. If that is true, take the blessing. Fair enough. All right. Well, um, we're done with the session, but um, uh, we're on we're on the state of play and Nintendo Direct talk. Do we have anything else um, on this? Uh, I, I don't know. Yu for Tekken Eight. I don't think that's gonna be. I don't think that will be a problem for me. But mm -hmm. I don't know. I hope the roster is decently sized. Yeah. Uh. And, and then they also had a. Uh, I, I'm never gonna call them by their actual names, but um, <laughs> Dad of Boy Two uh, d didn't that also get a trailer? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll play those games one day. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, I thought I thought the direct itself was fine. Um, I, yeah, definitely. Definitely happy that Pikmin 4 exists just at, at all. Um, like, I've said it before, but I do- I'm not even upset that we didn't really see gameplay. I just- the the fact that it exists at all um, is good enough for me. <laughs> like, it, yeah. basically, it would basically be the same thing if, if like, they announced- if, if Ubisoft, like, announced a Rayman 4. <laughs> like, uh... Just be lucky Rayman is going to be in Mario plus Rabbids. Yeah, hopefully that will... Yeah. I, I can dream that that, that will, like, m like, go into, like, a new game after the fact, but, um, I don't really trust Ubisoft nowadays. One can hope. Is that all we got? Yeah. Okay. Alright, well, yeah. Ready to go, Jason. Alright. Well, I'm gonna go bother my- I gotta go bother my friends for this platoon. Okay. We'll try and finish the game next time and, uh, be done with this stupid game about dragonflies. Bye. <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm gone. Uh... Scattered! I don't know. <laughs> Scattered? I wanted to do a funny intro, but yeah, uh, I'm just I'm just gonna rush to uh, where we were. Um, which was the second? Which was the second? Um, which was the uh, the the the? Re I know where it was too. Yeah, so luckily, just... luckily, a good, one of the good news is that the those Rhinox those Rhinox wizards are technically the collectible of the level, so you don't have so they're gone. Yeah, they stayed dead. Um, I don't think we have to go up here again. 
Ah, uh, Zoe. Bye, Zoe. Yep. Cut. Right now, we're, right now we just gotta assume we grabbed everything. Yeah. We'll worry about. Sure that won't bite us in the ass later. Probably. Wait, where am I going? Up the tree. Or left. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Right there. No, that that was not the one we lost. Oh, that was did. Again. Yeah, we did. We went through here. We got these right. Yeah, we got those guys. Oh yeah, that's the one over there. That's the one we did. Yeah, that. Okay. Yeah, we're we're caught up, caught up now. Now now we're back where we were. Okay. It's so now to do more of this garbage. You're too close. Oh my god. You always get to aim a little bit to his left, to aid to the left. Uh This camera is not helping. Okay. Nice shot for a blind fire. <laughs> I mean, it's not exactly like... Pla like, the, man. It doesn't, the, the blocking just doesn't freaking work. The best part is, this is the only time we really need it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the Nice. Where? Anyways, things. Uh, so, uh, there's a few things that I want to talk about in this session since this is the last. Um, hopefully, this will be the last session of this game because I want to. Well, we only really have two, eight, half, one and a half levels, probably not even, and, yeah. and the final boss. Yeah, I, I want to be out of this uh, hell. <laughs> so, did he just not give me a gem? But oh, good. It had, it had a, it had a reignited issue right there. <laughs> reignited issue? Sometimes Sparks just decides not to pick up shit. Oh, it's, it, I, I didn't notice that, but like, I don't think the basket just gave me a gem in general. Oh, you're too far. <laughs> cool. Oh, wow. First try. Yeah. So one thing I, I I did look at the um, uh, what happened recently at this game and uh, from my understanding apparently uh, Equinox were more, the ones more in, more so in charge of like the art design and stuff whereas Check Six were the actual like coding people the the guys that like made the actual game I guess um, so With the actual developers yeah. That's a, that's what how I understand it. <laughs> I just love it, how instinctive it is to hurt these things. Yeah, right. I thought, I thought, yeah, I thought, that, I thought that thing was gonna run. Yeah. You know, if I could swim, I dive under that water and press the switch to open that door up there. Good to know. Unfortunately, I forgot my water wings again. Say, maybe you can do it. Aren't do water wings supposed to help you uh, stay afloat? Watch out for the pool cleaner. It's dangerous. I don't know why that had to be a separate uh, dialogue thing. But uh, if you say, but don't you need water wings just to stay afloat? Yeah. So you can't even go down there and hit the switches, anyways. Maybe they're actual. This is a fantasy world. Maybe they're actual wings that help him like swim underwater. Yeah. What pool oh. cleaners are talking about? Yeah. Oh, like, I'm actively looking for this pool cleaner. <laughs> it's like just Hunter like... in, like, scuba gear scrubbing the floor of the pool. God. It's, 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 the, it's the chlorine. Yeah. Yeah, what- well, what- the chlorine will burn your eyes! <laughs> Believe me, I know. <laughs> do you rem- uh, do you remember anything from that video, Jason? Off the top of my head, besides the fact that, um, uh, this game- this game was pretty much doomed on arrival. <laughs> Kind of, yeah. I'm guessing. Um, well, no, I mean, no, the exception, no, I, if I remember correctly, it's like, it, it was, it, wait, wasn't it like Universal wanted a, I think we've been over this, didn't they want a yearly re release? Well, th well, that was also a thing. Basically, why what happened, going by the video, is that the original plan was to uh, basically age up Spyro, um, kind of like, the, the, wor the wording they used was like a Harry Potter kind of thing, where like, um, 
time passes so like they age the characters up kind of thing but that didn't go there well apparently so the they had had like a bunch of design documents that went over like over 200 pages um and universe were basically being complete idiots about the whole thing where like uh what one of them they responded saying like this is too similar to uh the other games or something uh, and then you missed a gem did i i'm pretty sure it's... yeah oh, right there okay um yeah they, they were just be being like complete being complete idiots about the whole thing and not really helping the studios at all um like i i think at one point they they got like they had like no idea what to do uh, be key, I think. because they weren't getting it like any like good feedback or anything of like what direction this sub it, the game should take and this was like several months uh, into production and from what i understand they only had like a few what was it like I, I i don't want to put a number on it but they barely had any time to finish the game by the point by the time they actually got like a concrete plan on i guess because uh, mm. at one point like they at one point the uh, i think it was the not the director but like one of the guys um basically just <laughs> but by the words of cad Icarus, they just went f it <laughs> and they and he just basically made a a a uh, like a Zelda epic kind of thing, just to shoot for the um, stars and see what would happen. <laughs> what would they say? Uh, they they never responded. It, it never got a response. So that was good. Um, basically, so... they were so basically you're saying they and they were they were they were expected to work and to make a game with literally nothing. <laughs> yeah, of. yeah. The... Oh my god. Uh, they had no be uh, references from the from the Insomniac trilogy or anything, they couldn't use um, assets from those games because um, I, either they weren't allowed them or Universal just didn't, like, save it. So they had to just make everything from scratch. Um, and it's just a complete mess. And, like... We're reading really close to the edges with these hoppers. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god. They're really quick. They, what did I say? <laughs> they could have. Uh, maybe Harry was just not aiming right, but it does, it does feel like indicative of this game's very large level design. Mm. <laughs> Even the gaps are barely manageable. Yeah. It's mainly because it's kind of hard to see the edge of the platform. It's so dark. Yeah, because, like, it's. You have to be like very on the edge, but like um, the frame rate is dip or something for a second. Maybe and that's also another thing. Um, the frame rate, like apparently the uh, builds they had for this game were like apparently really impressive looking, but they had they had to keep lowering the visuals over over and over again because they they had the hardest time making it run well and with all the super long load times. Uh, that's <laughs> basically. Uh, check check six and Equinox like having no idea on how to optimize the game properly, so Equinox. Uh, check Equinox. Um, it's not really funny. <laughs> yeah, so it's like the uh, what is it? Like they, they had to they had to keep making the game look worse and worse, and even after that, that, and even after that, the game still doesn't run very well. So it's like, not a lot of time to iron things out, not a lot of time to give it, to let the team figure out what the game even is. Um, and it's, it, the end product, product is basically just a, a bunch, it, oh my god, uh, is it gonna oh, be? Oh, it's just fell down. Okay, thank god. Oh. <laughs> um, it, the, the get the final game is just a, it's a mess of a bunch of, ideas strung together and it just yeah 
Are you supposed to glide over there? Yep. We skipped a whole lot of level, I hope you realized. I- well, I, I need to go- I can't, like, keep going back up and down, dude. I know, I know. I need to- yeah, I, I'll- I'll come back. Okay. I know what I'm doing. Do you know? What you were doing, you wouldn't Do be you playing this game, playing... Harry. I was- I was gonna make that same joke, damn it. <laughs> God. Yeah. You stole my joke! What are you? But yeah, it's a uh, moral of the story, uh, Universal sucks. <laughs> I, mean, I didn't need a Matt McMuscle video to know that. Yeah, where the heck is the other? Where are they? The other two. So much treasure. Yeah. Here's a thief, then. I do enjoy the What Happened videos. Oh no, I love- no, I- I like them just because I like- I like learning shit. Where the heck are these last two, like... Players? Probably behind me started if I had to randomly guess. I see that's the start of the level. Uh. Yeah. There's the end of the level. Yep. A time machine from Austin Towers. <laughs> Thanks for your help, Spyro. Okay. All right. Uh, well, he's supposed to give you the last one once you, what the, the dragonfly once you beat the Riptock Wizard. Oh! I went through the floor again. Well, it's not as bad as what happened in Luau Island where you kept where you kept. Ah! I want to go back. Where you kept some uh, like jolting off the platform. Yeah. If you're looking for the gate, it's behind you. Wait, what? Why? What gate? The challenge gate. Oh. Well, I think there's some gems up there anyways. So wait, turn around? Try that. Oh, okay. Wow, I called it. <laughs> That's, uh... I'm surprised I got it right. <laughs> Not exactly intuitive, but sure. But hey, I guess we take those. Yeah. Oh. You miss? <laughs> oh boy. Good hit detection. Yeah. That was great. Now where's a meal? <laughs> okay. Nobody's gonna get that joke. <laughs> I get the joke. What Can is the joke? Oh! <laughs> okay, that's you know that's fine actually, because <laughs> it's gonna send me back. Uh, to the last time Zoe zapped you, which was actually yeah. this is actually pretty. Actually, no, this is fine. Okay, now we need to go to the lower sections. For uh, clarity. Just, just for clarification, Scrappy, what am I referencing? I'm sorry, you're breaking up. I said, I said for clarification, what was I referencing? <laughs> what? Can, can you hear me, Harry? Yes. Can you pass it to him then? Uh, can you hear me, Scrappy? What? <laughs> Are you messing with us? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm so confused. Scrappy, if you can hear what I'm saying, say what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, can you hear us? Is... <laughs> Scrappy, is the answer still yes? Yes, the answer is yes. Scrappy! Scrappy, how many <laughs> how many fingers am I holding up? <laughs> <laughs> My internet has cut out so many times. You actually believe that I, could, you, I couldn't hear you? <laughs> Wait, you actually you are actually messing? Yes. <laughs> Let's do it. Yes. Let's do it. <laughs> 
Oh you were setting up that joke, weren't you? Yeah, th this jump is actually just kind of awful to make. Alright, okay, in all seriousness, what was I referencing? My beloved cult classic, Tales of the Sim... I can't even pronounce it. Tales of the Sim... Uh? Dawn of the New World. Correct. Oh! Oh, right, okay, right, okay. Because the pro tags names are Emil and Marta. I don't know why I was thinking of Xenoblade. <laughs> Roll reversal going on right now. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I think, think I think I think I think you misheard. I think you maybe you heard maybe you heard me think maybe you thought Eggle. <laughs> yeah, these jumps are awful because you can barely see the edges, and as soon as you hit the, I feel I think as soon as you hit I think the you edge, drop as soon as you slide. Yeah, like you need to like go right on the edge. I guess since we went up, we go we go down now. Yeah. Who was in charge of Universal when Mark Cerny left? I don't know. Uh You're asking the wrong people. Like, yeah, they... Uh, for, yeah, from my... From what the video says as well, the reason why the trilogy went so, went so well is because basically Sony handled all the... basically all the uh, heavy lifting, if you will. Uh, whereas Universal basically s smiled and waved. <laughs> um, so, like, when they actually were part of the uh, main process with this game and I, I by extension the crash stuff that's when things went completely haywire they just owned spot I guess they just owned Spyro they didn't really know what to do with him oh, that was another path here <laughs> yeah have we been down there or is that just a dead end oh uh, I can't see I think that's a dead end yeah, but I oh, also... Oh, no, no, there's something, there. Wait, there's something down there. I also hear a dragonfly, though. Wait, freaking... I think it's a bubba. Let's see. Ugh. Why, why are you sending me? Good lord. Back. Backwards. Well, no, that's not, not what I mean. Like... I can't... See you... Okay. I guess sometimes you you just gotta. I usually with the whirly gigs, I just sit still until I actually see where it wants, until the camera straightens. Yeah, but it would be nice to see where I'm going. <clears throat> Why does Spyro look so derpy when he hovers? I think we talked about that before already. <laughs> That's not awesome. familiar. Wait, oh, I, I see that hidden gem there. Oh, here we go. Oh, there you are. Okay. Oh, I need. Hey. Okay. Okay. Hey, it's Martin. Martin and Marta. Martin. Yes. Okay. All right, that's um, the way. That's the path forward. Did we go down there already? No. Mm, not exactly. No, no, no. Whoa. Okay. Is this where that other path led? I think there's more gens back there, anyways. Ugh. Like below us. Have to get down from a safe place. Yeah, do we? Okay. Wait, wait, turn back, turn back around. So there's, okay, so there's that, and then, okay. Look to the right a little bit. I thought I saw something. Okay, okay. Ah, wait, there is something down there. Over there. Yeah, I'm trying to like... What? Look at that gra graphical flicker. <laughs> is that is that death? I can't. In the water. Oh hey, the drag uh, uh, that that be the dragonfly we heard. Hey, it's Atsumi. Atsumi. And this guy's just gonna burn. Yeah. It's Advantage as soon as it collides with anything. <laughs> okay. That's a waterfall of death, I think. Oh good. So, uh... Uh, glide yes. straight and then hold... Okay. Yeah, glide straight. Maybe colored the cliffs a bit better. Yeah, no, it's, uh... Dark. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I really hope we didn't miss anything. We'll soon find out.
You should give me the dragonfly now, right? You yeah, you you got all the Riptock wizards though. Thanks for your help, Spyro. Say, did you drop this? <laughs> okay. Hey, it's Mickey. Uh -huh. Just without the E. <laughs> now I can make money. Uh -huh. Money. Yes. Um. All right. All right. Let's I, just, all right. Let's get, let's keep going forward. Still more gems, my gosh. Yeah. And, Spark, and Sparks didn't pick up a few of them. Because <laughs> he's too busy trying to eat a butterfly. Also, for some reason, your uh, your multi-world video just uploaded to your channel. Oh, well, yeah, no, I, I had to um, re-upload it because... Um, uh, I had to render it again because I put... I, I uh, <laughs> rendered the video at the wrong in the wrong aspect ratio. So... Yeah, it was like, it uploaded it, um, so you, it was like a tiny box, so that wasn't, that wasn't great. It looked like, it looked like, it looked like really bad, oh! Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Thank god. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, I, I, I have also- I, I, I completely expected it to just vanish from Oblivion. I'm pretty sure it actually does that in the PS2 version. I'm pretty sure. Mm. So I'm assuming wait, I'm assuming Dino Jungle has 800. So is, if he's assuming these are the last ones. Well, the uh, the the book said I remember the book saying it only has like 500. Oh, we'll find out. Do we even have all the dragonflies in here? I'm not sure. Well, we let's check our journal. Well, there's. Let's see. Um, okay, there's that over there. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, no! No! Oh! Damn it. Why? And where are we again? <sighs> okay. Yeah. I'm starting to remember why I hate this level. Camera doesn't work, the enemies are annoying. Send you back like half a mile. The level design sucks. <laughs> I never knew God Metal just uploaded a remix of Toad's Factory. Oh, God Metal? Yeah. Hmm. I haven't That's seen boy. I haven't seen uh, his stuff in a while. I don't know what he's done recently. Um, let me check my channel. Hey, we're, we're we're just going on tangent at this point, so. Yeah, there are some things I do want to talk about in a minute, but I want to get this level finished first. Um, let's see. I can't see where I'm going. Back here at the description of the TV development screen. process for this game. Look at the yeah. TV screen. <laughs> <laughs> like. Load. <sighs> uh, let's see. Toad's Factory. The most recent things they've done. Um, let's see. Got uh, Toad's Factory was oh, like less than half an hour ago. Uh, about ten days ago, they did um, uh, the Steam of Simon Belmont for Super Castlevania Four. Oh, cool. I, that's a really good song. Yeah. <laughs> I forget the whole part. <laughs> that, was, that was good timing on the bra. <laughs> uh, the Magic Art Festival song from Pokémon Tournament. Mm. You know, I've had Special. that game on uh, on Switch since like, like what was that launch or like when? That... Twenty eighteen, I think. Mm. Actually, mm. wait, Pokémon Tournament DX came out like mid twenty seventeen, I think. I'm checking. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure I had that since it came out, but I, I played it, like, once. <laughs> Pokémon Tournament DX. I remember when, like, there was, like, a little teaser of the game, 
And uh, I remember some people just freaking out. I was like, is this Pokemon Stadium free? <laughs> yeah. Um, actually, the game just hit five years old. Yeah. Uh, September 22nd, 2017. Yeah, because I remember the first teaser of it was like Lucario and some of someone else. I forget what the other Pokemon was. And they were just like... Basically, well, right, go to the right. Go to the right. Wait, what? Uh. I can't the... This game is five years old. Are you talking about the wordy gig? No, you missed it. You passed it while you were flying. Oh. Uh. Is there a way back up? Should be. Okay. I'm sorry. I these bat, these stock bat sound effects just made me think of Scooby Doo. <laughs> Are you just waiting for Scooby Doo? -E -Doo? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's not possible. Ah. I I I thought the screen screamed when he fell. Uh, I'm not sure. He... In my head right now, all I can hear is Jack's um die uh, falling death. Uh, yeah. It just. Oh, ah. yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. Jack. Oh, uh, yeah. Jack. Jack in a precursor legacy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know why. I think, I think of that death cry even more than the Werehog one. Uh, the Werehog one is pretty good, but I don't know why I just think of Jack. No, I just... Uh, okay, uh, first off, I'm, uh, when I get to the point, uh, let me know. I don't really know what I'm looking for. I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna DM Nick and see, like, would you believe Pokken is five years old? <laughs> Pokken Switch port is five years old. Yeah, the, right. I, yeah, we, I don't know when the Wii U one came out. Forget the Wii U version, but we gotta focus on the arcade uh, version. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, Pokken, um, uh, Pokken tor Tournament, I just get, that's all, I just game Pokken Tournament, not like any other kind of version. Okay, um, um, it, what, what am I looking for? It was... Oh gosh, you have to be on the highest point before you, like, swoop down to the portal with a thief. Okay. Um, while you're on that, it's at Pokemon Pokemon Tournament initial release date, July 16, 2015. Hmm. Okay, so... Look to your right. Uh... That's the... That's just okay. the... That's just decoration, I think. Okay, alright, alright. Yeah, you can... Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll head back, just follow the main trail for now. Right. Yeah, no, uh... It's a waste of time, it's brought to you by Scrappy Fan 92 <laughs> Well, you never know. Um... Yeah, I was saying, though, uh, with... With the first teaser of the game, it was Lucario and some other Pokemon. Um... And... <laughs> they... <laughs> I remember everyone just freaking out, thinking it was a, a stadium two, a uh, stadium three, rather. Um, hey, like, that, that that would have been pretty wild. Glide around here and go there. Yeah, that's what I did earlier. But like the. Wait, wait, to your left. To your left. Wait, hold on. Whoa. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do last time, but like, the game just didn't like me. I guess. That should be a. I should be in our um, dragonfly, right? Yep. Hey, it's racket. Yeah, that 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 jingle did make a racket. Cool. Let's go. One more level. <laughs> I heard the camera like what? <laughs>